Hello friends, I am Neer Sheikh from blogtut.com and welcome to another awesome video. In this video, we will learn two things. First, we will learn how to create custom attributes, how to design them, how to make them really awesome so that you know it looks totally different from other websites, the normal websites which are there in the market. And the second thing that we'll see is filtration options. We'll see how to add these different filtration options like filter by price, filter by color, filter by rating, filter by size, category, tags, and so on. Okay, so let us see this first thing. First, we'll see what this thing ex exactly is. And after that, we'll get into the tutorial. Okay, so first, let's see this custom attributes. For example, we have an attribute over here which says color. In normal websites, you might have seen that you have this attribute color and there is a drop down given over here. And when you select that drop down, you get black, green, whatever color it is. But here we have the exact same colors showing over here and this really looks beautiful. And for size also, we have different text tabs over here, text labels over here, which really looks cool. And when you select this green color, the color of this product changes, okay, or maybe the product totally changes from here. And when you select this different thing, for example, it is green large. So the price is showing 30 pounds when, but when we select green medium, it, you know, decreases to 25 pounds. And when we select small, it goes to 20 pounds. So this is very good. This really looks amazing. You know, this really, you know, improves the uh, beauty and the design of your website. And the second thing is the most amazing thing that you will see is that filtration options. I have been getting a lot of requests from my subscribers that they want to learn how to, you know, add different filtration options. So this is the video that you will learn everything about that. Okay. So first at the sidebar, we have different options like filter by price. So when you drag this thing, we want only till 20 pounds. We don't want any product more than 20 pounds. So we just drag this. We don't have to refresh or anything. It is automatically reloading as you can see. Now we'll have all the products which are, you know, either equal to or below 20 pounds. No, not more than that. So this is very good. And if you want only black color, then you can select black from here. And again, you don't have to press any button. You know, as you can see, it is loading automatically. Then you can filter by rating, filter by size. Suppose you want only medium size, then you can click on this medium and you'll get that product over here. Okay. And you can also filter by different categories and so on. Okay, guys. So this is what we are going to learn in this video. I hope this video will help you guys. If you if you find my channel helpful, if you find my content helpful, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. And if it really helps you, then make sure to give a thumbs up to this video and share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter. That will really help me. I would really appreciate that. Okay, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, guys, as you can see on your screen, I have created a new website called demo2.nayashik.com and I have installed a fresh WordPress. So this is a fresh WordPress installation over here. I haven't done anything, haven't created anything yet. This is just a fresh installation. I could have just, you know, did this thing in uh, any one of my existing websites, but I, you know, decided to go this way so that, you know, everyone can follow along. Okay. So to create these amazing things, these custom attributes and this filtration, we need a plugin, which is called Woof. Okay, so it stands for WooCommerce Product Filter. This is an amazing plugin. You can see over here, it has got a terrific 4.74 rating. Okay, so that is awesome. And it has got more than 4000 sales. So this is a really good plugin. It, it costs you around 30 bucks. But what I would recommend you to save some money, you know, you can save a lot of money. In fact, you can just type in, uh, open a new tab and type in blogtoot.com slash nitro once you do so you will be redirected to this page this is actually a theme it is not a plugin it is nitro theme i have created a website uh, a video in fact using this theme if you see my channel i will give this link in the video description below and you can see that video this is the one how to make an e-commerce website using nitro theme so this is an amazing theme but why am i recommending you this we are here to create a, you know, product filtration and I am recommending you a theme. Let me tell you the reason. If you scroll down, you will see first of all, this theme is amazing. There's no doubt about it. But here is the reason. 
you get a total value of $155 free themes, free plugins with this. And it includes advanced product filter, the plugin which we need. Okay. So this is the plugin which we need advanced product filter. You also get awesome plugins like size guide, which is, you know, 18 bucks visual composer, which is the most you know, selling theme of all time on theme forest. This is the most selling theme of all time. Revolution slider, you can create beautiful sliders. Ninja pop-up, you can create awesome pop-ups to generate more leads and so on. So you are getting a lot of thing over here. So it's all up to you. I just you know, wanted to give you a better option. You can just purchase this theme, uh, this plugin for 30 bucks or you can go with this theme. You get a theme plus so many awesome premium plugins. So you can decide yourself what you want to do, okay? So you can just go ahead and purchase the plugin and the theme. I am assuming that you are using that theme. Uh, so I'll be using that theme and I'll show you everything step by step. Okay. So the first thing is to install a theme. So we'll click on appearances. We'll click on add new. Now we'll upload the thing, choose the file. Okay. So this is the theme file. I'm selecting this and we'll click on open and click on install now the theme is getting installed it will take few seconds don't worry okay so the theme is successfully installed now we can activate the theme okay fine now you get all these recommended plugins you know you have to install all these plugins from here so that you can do and you can see that we have our plugin as well over here and we get many premium plugins as i said you earlier let us find so when you click on begin installing plugins, you will see these are all the plugins that will be installed. There are so many, you know, premium plugins over here. And the one which we are looking for is this one, advanced product filter. So I won't install everything. I'll just install WooCommerce and advanced product filter so that, you know, everyone can follow along. I don't want to confuse you, you know, installing so many plugins uh, that we don't even need. But before installing plugins, what you have to do, you have to register this theme. Okay, so you can click on Nitro from here and here you will see product re registration. Now you have to put in your email address and your purchase code. The email address which you used to purchase the you know, theme or the plugin from theme forest and the purchase code which you got. Okay, you'll get all these things when you purchase the theme. So I'll put it over here okay the email address is this and this is the purchase code and after doing so you have to click on this validate button okay fine now we can install plugins now we can click on this begin installing plugins and now we will select these two plugins woocommerce and advanced product filter and we won't take anything else we want only these two plugins in fact we want one more this custom attributes we want only three plugins okay select those three and go to the bulk action click on install and click on apply now you can click on this link which says return to required plugin installer now we have to activate those three plugins. Okay. Now again, we have to select those three WooCommerce, advanced product filter and custom attributes. And from bulk action, we can select activate and click on apply. Okay. So all the three plugins, which we need are, you know, installed and activated. Now you'll get this pop-up over here. Okay. The WooCommerce setup pop-up. So let us do it very fast. We don't want to waste our time on all these things. We have done this so many times. Okay. So let me, let me do it very fast as soon as possible. Click on continue. If, if you want to learn more about WooCommerce, I'm just skipping these things because we don't need these things in this uh, video. But if you want to learn about that, I have a video on that as well. Uh, I uploaded it recently. You can, I'll give that link in the video description below. You can see that. Okay. That will be very helpful for you. Now let us import some products so that, you know, we have some products to play with. So what I'll do, I'll click on products. Okay. So here we see that we don't have any product because we haven't created any product. It is just a fresh WooCommerce installation. So what I'll do, I'll import some products. So I'll click on this button, which says import product from a CSV file. 
and from here you can choose that file i'll give this link the i'll give the file for free to you guys so that you can also import some product if you don't uh, already have a product okay so you'll find this file in the come in the link in the video description below okay okay so this is the file dummy data dot csv you have to select this file and click on open now click on continue now just scroll down and click on run the importer okay as you can see your products are getting imported oh yeah so as you can see it has imported 28 products now you can click on view products to see the products which are imported so these are the products uh, which are imported okay now let's see how our shop page looks like so you can hover over here and you'll see two options visit store and visit site you have to open the visit store link in a new tab so this is our shop page now let's see a product which is variable product okay so this is a variable product the ship your idea product okay let's open this one okay this is your ship your idea product okay if you are also importing the product this is the product which will be playing around now as you can see over here by default we have this color and we get option like this black and green but we don't want this we want some amazing thing like this you know we want the actual color to show over here so now let's start creating the custom attributes okay so what you can do you can go to your dashboard and under products you will see the last option is attributes click on attributes okay you'll see one thing is already created which is color okay so but the in the type section there is nothing selected that's why it is just showing select so we'll have to change this so you can click on this edit button now from type just select color picker okay so type and color picker and click on update again click on this button which says back to attributes or you can just click on attributes from here so we have our color attribute and we can create different terms over here okay so let's click on configure terms so there are three colors which are already over here black blue and green now let's add the actual color over here so under black you will see this edit button click on that okay so the first option is name name of the color slug is just the you know url thing you can add some description and from here you will have to select the actual color so let's click on this select color and let's select black from here now in the tooltip what is this tooltip by the way if you see over here in this when we hover this black we get this black you know it says black and when we hover the green it says it is green as you can see over here it says it is green the color is also there but when we hover this we name the uh, we get the name of the color so that is what a tooltip is so you can this is black so we can type in black over here and click on update now again click on this back to tags button now let's play around with this blue color so click on edit again the same thing just select the color now let's select this blue color from here and let's give a tooltip of blue click on update now again let's click on back to tags now the last color which we have obviously we can add more colors from here okay for example let's delete this color from over here green color and now let's add a new color so let's type in green okay the slug you can just leave it empty it will just type in the same thing so you can just leave it empty and you can select color from here and you can select green give a tooltip of green and click on add new color okay so as you can see we have three different colors over here blue green and blue blue green and black okay now if you come to this page and refresh let's see what happens okay as you can see now we get this thing over here we have this color and we have black color over here but this let let us add some more attributes to this product so that we can see how it looks but before that let us create one more attribute okay 
so you can click or you can just come back to your dashboard and again click on attributes so this was the first attribute the color attribute let's create a new attribute size attribute so here you can just in the name just type in size the slug you can just leave it empty and type select text label okay and click on add attribute okay so we have color now we have size now we have to add some terms for the for this attribute so click on configure terms now here let's start adding terms so first one will be small so just type in s in the name in this slug you can just leave it empty the label will be s again and tooltip will be small so that whenever someone hovers over this s they will get this small thing over here okay now you can click on add new size and it is added over here now similarly you can just type in m over here in the label we'll type m and in the tooltip let's type in medium and at the last let's create one for large as well so just type in l in the label also l and tooltip will be large click on add new size okay so we have three attributes over here now what we'll do we'll edit this product and we'll add those attributes to this product and see how it looks okay so we can click on edit product from here you can dismiss all these things okay we don't we don't want this message popping up again and again you can just dismiss everything all these notifications okay fine so this is our product now let's scroll down let's click on attributes so as you can see there is one attribute color already created over here and it has only black now we can add more attributes so we can just when you click on this we get more options for example this is also available in green so we can select green and maybe also in blue so we can also select blue from here and make sure you tick mark both these options visible on product page and used for variation okay and click on save attributes now let's add the size attribute as well so when you select this thing the custom product attribute you'll get this drop down size and if you have created more things you'll get all those options over here so let's select size and click on add and maybe this product is available in all the three sizes like large medium and small and make sure to tick mark both these options and click on save attributes okay so we have created attributes now we can go to variations and there are already two variations created over here but let's remove this and let's start it from scratch okay so let's remove all these things now we have no variation so we'll get this uh, drop down when you select this you'll get an option which says create variation from all attributes so it will create variation for all the attributes okay and click on go click on ok again click on ok it says nine variation added okay so as you can see we have black small black medium black large blue small blue medium blue large and so on now we can add different color and different image and different price for every single variation for example for black large we can add a different image for example let's add a you know black color t-shirt image this is the one black color let's select this click on set variation image and this is black large so let's put 30 30 pounds for this one okay 30 pounds for this large t-shirt now let's select this medium one black medium again select this image select any black image from here let's rate it 25 and yeah okay and after that we have small black small let's select the color black color t-shirt and the price let's put 20 pounds over here then we have blue so we'll select blue large and now we'll select a blue color t-shirt so let's select this one click on set variation image now this is large so we'll put in 30 pounds for this one and after that blue medium then we'll select same blue color over here set variation color 25 for this one and blue small again the same blue t-shirt then after that we'll have 20 pounds for this one then the last one uh, is green color so let's select the green color image let's select this one click on set variation image this is large so we'll put in 30 pounds over here then we have medium 
again we will select the green color t-shirt and we'll put the price as 25 because it is a medium t-shirt and the last one is green color small t-shirt so let's select this green color and because it is a small t-shirt we'll just put in 20 pounds okay and click on save changes okay so all the changes are saved now you can update this page let's update button now you'll see this option which says view product now let's view this product and see how it looks click on view product okay guys so we have successfully done now we have this black color and large when you select black and large we get 30 pounds when we select black and medium we get 25 pounds and when we select blue we get blue and medium we get 25 pounds and so on okay so we are done with custom attributes now let's see how to add this uh, filter options you know filtration by price by color and so on so to do so again come back over here first let's let's create a sidebar first so if you see your shop page let's just type in your domain name your website name and after that slash shop okay you'll get to your shop page now this is our shop page it does not have a sidebar so first let's add a sidebar and after that we can add different attributes in the sidebar so click on customize and after that you will see this woocommerce option from here click on woocommerce product category and here you'll see all these different options the design and everything okay so this is the layout we have oh no no sidebar layout but if we want left sidebar so we'll select this one so as you can see the changes are taking place okay now we have a space for sidebar you can also change many different things so here how how many columns do you want for example here we have four columns now suppose instead of four columns you want only three columns so you can select this one three and you can see now we have only three columns okay now we can select many different things from here the style like for example here we have this style you have many different styles at the bottom product item style okay now because this is really a great theme great theme for woocommerce okay so you can go with this theme this is really awesome but if you don't want to do any more changes we are done so just click on publish and let's exit out so let's add a sidebar let's first see the you know filter options so come back to your dashboard now when we have our woocommerce you will see this option called settings so click on settings normally we have only till here the option till api but we have one extra option over here which says product filter that is because we added that plugin product filter plugin that's why we have this option okay so the first option is search by price like here we have the first option is filter by price or search by price okay so by default it is set to no when you click on this you get more options now let's select yes but we are getting three four different design options so let's select woo range slider and click on save changes now let's come back and let's refresh the page and see the changes now we cannot see the change over here there is nothing over here because we are adding things over here but we have not added a widget at the sidebar so let's do that first so again come back to your dashboard okay over here and when you see this appearances when you hover appearances you'll get this widgets option let's open this in a new tab so that we are you know we are not exiting this page we want this page to be open now in this widget we have to add this woof widget the filter option widget in this sidebar okay so when you go at the bottom you'll see this widget w o o f WooCommerce product filter so you have to select that and after that select this thing WooCommerce sidebar click on add widget so this is added now you can you now just change the title so let me just remove WooCommerce and we'll have only products filter now click on save now again come back to your website and let's refresh this page now we can see we have our beautiful option over here okay so let's 
cut this thing because we are done with the widget option now we have to play around with these options so this is how a woo range slider looks like but if you see our website the demo website this slider is very beautiful this is you know looking uh, like the website itself but here the color is very ugly and it is not matching the website so what i'll do i'll select some different option the last one ion range slider okay and i'll click on save changes again come back over here refresh the page and we should see new option over here okay so as you can see now this is looking awesome we have a very beautiful uh, slider a very beautiful you know criteria filter criteria over here price filter criteria exactly like the demo website now let's create this one filter by color so if you see over here we have product color over here okay this one this is the product color tab now if you see the options are radio checkbox drop down multi drop down but we want color over here okay so what we'll do is we'll go to extension because we are not getting that color option that is because there are many extension which which are not by default you know enabled we just have to enable that we don't have to install it or anything everything is there we just have to enable it so go to extension and you'll see this color over here so we just have to tick mark this and click on save changes but what i'll do is i'll tick mark everything we want all the extension okay so that we can see what are the different options so just enable all the extension from your images and everything just tick mark everything rating because we need this thing as well filter by rating okay after you know tick marking everything go at the bottom and click on save changes okay now again when we come back to this option we get many new options over here as you can see we have so many new options first we had only four or five options now we have filter by price filter by this by that and so on so the first option we have already seen search by price the second one is this one product color first let's drag this thing at the top just below the price okay let's drag it at the top okay just below the price so we have price and after that we have product color now select radio now we have so many different options now we have to select color from here okay now click on additional options you'll get you know if you want to give a title for example if you see over here we have a title which says filter by color let's copy this title and you can just select yes if you want to give a custom title and you can just type in your title over here okay let's paste in the title show tool tip yes click on apply now oh uh, if, if you save the changes now then it won't show because we have not make this thing enabled to make it enable just tick mark this thing okay now click on save changes now if you see over here we get a new option toggle color terms okay so it has detected that we have added three different colors uh, black blue and green now from here you have to select this black then from here this is blue color so we'll select blue and the last one as you can see over here it says green so let's select green fine now let's click on save changes now come back to your website and refresh as you can see over here we have filter by color when we hover over this we get the name of the color and the, it is really looking awesome okay so we have product filter filter by price filter by color now the next option is filter by rating so it is also very easy you don't have to do anything just search for the rating one so we have uh, product messenger drop down or here it is by rating drop down so let's first drag this thing below the color okay over here so we have our price the color and the drop down and you don't have to do anything just make it yes okay just select this thing make it yes yes we want the rating drop down thing scroll down click on save changes and after doing so come back to your website a refresh and you should see that
Okay, as you can see over here, we have filter by rating now. Now let's see whether it is working or not. We are adding everything, but let's see whether it is working or not. So let's add a filter option. Let's scroll down. Now, as you can see, it is working. Now we are getting only you know, cheap products like 14, 15 pounds and so on. Now let's select only black color. So you'll select black over here. Okay, so it says no product matched. So let's increase this price. Okay, so now we have this option. So we are applying two filtration over here. We want price of the product to be less than 30, 30 pounds and the color to be black. As you can see, both these things are applied over here. Okay, if you wanna reset, you can just click on this reset button and you'll see all the products again on this page. Okay, now let's continue working. The next option is filter by size. Again, come back over here. Let's search for that one. We have product size over here. So just make this thing enable and instead of radio, we want uh, labels. Okay, so here it is label. So just select label instead of radio, make this thing enable and let's drag this thing at the top. Okay, just below the rating. We have color, we have rating and below this we have the size now okay now you can uh, again click on additional options if you want to add some title so you can click on additional op uh, options it says show title label it is set to no we can click on yes show toggle button you can also select yes now let me show you what toggle button is you will see show as closed show as opened so i'll select show as opened and after that how many terms do you want so we have only three different sizes so we don't have to you know put in any number but suppose you have 100 different sizes but you want to show only 10 and if someone wants to see more they'll get a read more option then you can select this you can put in only 10 over here but we have only three so we don't need to do that okay now here you have to put in the title which you want for that uh, for this thing for this widget so we want a title which says filter by size. So just type in filter by size. Okay, click on apply. Now again, let's save the changes and let whether everything is working fine or not. Let's refresh this page. Let's scroll down. Now, as you can see, we have our option over here, filter by size. We have three different sizes over here. Now let's add the last option, which is filter by categories. Obviously, this is the last option over here. We have so many different options like you can search by SKU, search by tag. You can search which product is, you know, you can select only to show the product which are in stock, only to show the product which are on sale and so on. You don't have to do it. You just have to make it yes. Just have to make it yes. And it's all done. Okay. Now, the last option which we have to do is it was filter by categories. Okay. So come back again over here. This is product categories. Just make this thing on. And if you want radio, if you want drop down, if you want checkbox, you can select anything. So I want radio for this one. And we'll get this thing at the top again. Okay, below the product size. And let's click on save changes. Again, this page refresh and let's see the changes. Okay, as you can see over here, we have the filter by categories section. Now when we cl uh, just click on clothing, we'll see all, all the categories which are related to clothing. We won't see any different categories over here. And when we click on in stock, when we take mark in stock, we'll see only those product which are in stock. Okay. And when we click on on sale, we'll see only those product which are on sale as if we are getting only two products. These two products are on sale. So we are applying three different uh, criteria over here. We have the product should be in the clothing category. It should be in stock and it should be on sale. Okay. So this is so amazing. I hope this tutorial was helpful because this is the end of this tutorial. I have shown everything that was important from, you know, very beginning. Okay. I have shown you how to in install the plugin theme how to create different attributes and so on well right, guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope you found it helpful if you want me to create more tutorials like this if you have want me you know to create a tutorial tutorial or video on different subjects whatever problem you have you can just 
put them in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to help you guys and if you have enjoyed this video then make sure you subscribe to my channel also give a thumbs up to this video and share it with your friends so that everyone can benefit from it thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon